Personally, I don't believe a trade is going to happen. I believe that he's going to stay with the Seattle Seahawks. I believe that they're asking way too much for Russell Wilson. I believe it was three first rounders, which I don't think any team would like to give up. Too much to give up, in my opinion, for Russell Wilson. But, uh, you know, if he were to be traded to those four teams, if a deal can be reached, we're going to order these teams from least likely to uh, highly likely or most likely which team he could land with. Option four and the least likely option for Russell Wilson to play for in 2021, the New Orleans Saints. I know. I know you guys don't want me to say that because it would be a dream scenario for Wilson to be there with Alvin Kamara and Michael Thomas and Sean Payton. And, but more than likely, it's probably not going to happen because of the amount of cap space that the New Orleans Saints have available. We've been looking at this website, SpotTrack.com, which keeps track of all the NFL team's salary cap that's available for the 2021 offseason. And we're going to go ahead and give you guys a visual. We're going to screen, uh, screen record this and show you guys uh, how much money each NFL team has to spend this offseason. Now, if we scroll a little bit down, we're going to see right here that the Jacksonville Jaguars freaking ads. Oh my gosh, I'm going to exit out of this. Uh, dang, they just pop up on the side and then they pop up on underneath. Oh my gosh. Now I got to wait five seconds for this ad to close. Three, two, one. Okay, close. Click that X. You know when you press the X and it's not really an X to close out of the ad, it brings up another ad. So annoying. Anyways, now that we close out of those ads, you're going to see that the Jacksonville Jaguars have the most amount of cap space available right here at the very top. Then you scroll down to the very, very bottom Look who has the least amount available. The New Orleans Saints, negative $59 million available to spend this offseason. If you want to take on a contract as big as Russell Wilson, go ahead. Be my guest. But I doubt that they're going to want to do that. I doubt that's going to happen. And plus, on top of that, you don't have that much draft capital to give up. You had to give up a draft pick, a seventh rounder this year earlier, uh, just because you broke some COVID-19 protocols. And now I believe you only have three or four draft picks for the 2021 draft. And you're really going to want to hold on to those to build your roster. But let's say, for instance, that the Saints make a move for Russell Wilson. And whatever they may, that may be, whichever uh, draft pick that they decide to give up, whichever player, whoever it may be, we're going to pull up this uh, page right here, NFL Team Roster and Salary Cap Manager. If we clo uh, close out of these ads, of course, Scroll a little bit down. It's going to order the players from the most expensive to the least expensive. So let's say, for instance, they keep the same roster that they have. Okay. You're going to get Russell Wilson. So that means that Drew Brees down here at number seven is going to be gone. You are going to make a move for Russell Wilson because Drew Brees decided to retire. So if we press the X right underneath the release column right here next, next to Drew Brees' name, you're going to have to get rid of them, and then all of a sudden your cap space gets even worse because you have to give up dead money and eat that up for Drew Brees to leave and to retire. So you're already negative 71. If you look on the very right-hand side, that dark gray box, negative $71 million in the red in cap space. But let's just say for the dream scenario, you want to acquire Russell Wilson. So what do you do? What do you do in that case? So let's just pull up, uh, uh, just for the sake of this, let's just trade a random player um, and receive Russell Wilson. I just chose JT Gray just because it's $0 in cap space. But for this website to work, we have to trade a, a certain player. So the Seattle Seahawks, select the, uh, him, and then Russell Wilson, process trade. Look, negative $90 million. But you have Russell Wilson. Scroll to the very top. Russell Wilson is uh, now going to be your highest paid player after that Drew Brees uh, retirement. So looking at the scenario, the New Orleans Saints does not make a lot of sense for Russell Wilson to go to the Saints. Option number three, the Chicago Bears. A lot of reasons why. Just because they are still kind of sort of in the hole after getting rid of or bringing in Khalil Mack, having to give up so many draft picks to acquire him. Plus, on top of that, if we look at the cap space, go back to that tab, and we see how much money that the Chicago Bears have available, 26 in the league, negative $3 million in cap space. I highly doubt that the Chicago Bears would want to make another move for a big and expensive contract like Russell Wilson's. So let's just say, for instance, do the same 
scenario as the Saints, go over to the Chicago Bears. Let's pull up their roster and let's make a trade uh, for Russell Wilson. Let's see what happens. Let's just scroll all the way down and uh, trade someone that's not really going to require any money to be uh, eaten or dead money to the Seattle Seahawks for Russell Wilson. Process trade. Look, on the side, in the gray, negative $21 million in the red. And by the way, when we talk about most likely and least likely team, we don't look at just cap space solely. This is just a good visual uh, when it comes to realism and how realistic a trade were to happen. But we also look into draft picks and how much a team is willing to give up. A first rounder, uh, two second rounders, whatever the price may be for Russell Wilson. And also where his agent would prefer Wilson to play for or which team to play for uh, over any other team. So I highly doubt that the Chicago Bears are high up on Russell Wilson's list just because of the lack of talent on the Chicago Bears offense because Allen Robinson more than likely is going to be gone. So I don't think Wilson would want to play for Chicago if there's not any solid weapons as opposed to maybe someone like Dallas or Las Vegas. So option number three, Chicago. Option number two, the Dallas Cowboys. This could happen. Jerry Jones could welcome Russell Wilson as the quarterback of the future for the Dallas Cowboys. They have the draft capital if they want to give him up. And also, as far as cap space goes, if we look at the numbers, the league average right here at dead center is $17 million. And then just a couple spots on top of that, you have the Dallas Cowboys at number 15 in the league, $23 million in cap space. They could very well welcome a contract for Russell Wilson to come into Dallas, who's only owed $19 million in 2021, and just move on with Dak Prescott and not worry about it. The only thing and the only reason why I don't have the Cowboys ranked number one on my list is just because the comparison between Russell Wilson and Dak Prescott. Wilson has proven to be the better quarterback so far in the NFL, but Prescott has a lot of the same talent as Russell Wilson. Very good quarterback, Prescott is. Prescott and Wilson are comparable in talent, but Prescott is younger than Wilson. So if I were a general manager, listen, if this was franchise mode and I was a general manager playing uh, franchise mode in Madden and I had a decision between trading for Russell Wilson or re-signing Dak Prescott to a very large contract, if those were the only two options, I would go down the route of re-signing Dak Prescott just because I know I have a few more years in Dak Prescott and he's already proven to be a very good quarterback in the NFL so you can't go wrong with him but Russell Wilson option number two Dallas Cowboys that just leaves one more team the Las Vegas Raiders option number one and this is very very enticing for Mike Mayock and John Gruden if they wanted to acquire Russell Wilson the reason being they have the draft capital from when they traded away Khalil Mack Acquired some picks from the Chicago Bears. Still have some picks. Had to give up a pick uh, because of the COVID-19 protocols uh, that they that they broke. But if we wanted to look at the salary cap and how much money that they have available this offseason, scroll down to number 21, Las Vegas Raiders, $6.6 million in cap space, which isn't that bad if you were to continue to release the right players or restructure some contracts to uh, have Russell Wilson be a Las Vegas Raiders, it's very, very doable that Wilson could be the quarterback. Now, there's just one little thing in the way, and that is Derek Carr. What do we do with Carr and his contract? Because I don't care what Mike Mayock or John Gruden says about Derek Carr, about how he's one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. Maybe if this was the first year or the second year, that they had to defend Derek Carr to the media. I'd be like, okay, people are just speculating. People are just talking that Derek Carr and Mike Mayock and John Gruden, they're not on the same page. But the fact that this has been happening year after year after year, I'm not buying that Mayock and Gruden are sold on Derek Carr. I'm just not. And there's just too many reports out there of Derek Carr and the Raiders wanting to move on and potentially be traded. So uh, let's just take a moment to look at the salary numbers for the Raiders if they were to move on from Derek Carr and were to trade for Russell Wilson. The best possible scenario, if I click out of these freaking ads, oh my gosh, listen, you got to make your bread somehow. I totally get that, but these ads are freaking crazy. They're, cr they're killer. But 
Okay, on top of the list, Derek Carr. This is ranked from most expensive player to least expensive player. Carr is the most expensive player on the Raiders, going to be making $22 million in 2021. How much is Russell Wilson going to be making in 2021? $19 million. That's already pretty enticing that you're going to have a least expensive player that is much better in talent. So what happens? If the Raiders decide to trade Derek Carr and two first rounders, a first rounder and two second rounders, whatever the price may be, to the Seattle Seahawks, what happens? The icon right next to Derek Carr. Let's select the Seattle Seahawks and then scroll down to uh, Russell Wilson. So Derek Carr for Russell Wilson and, of course, some draft picks on top of that. Look at the total trade savings thus far, $625,000 that the Raiders saved. And boom, right there in the gray cap space, your cap space were to go up, and now your most expensive player is Russell Wilson at just $19 million. So because of that, it's a very feasible trade and cost-effective trade for the Raiders. If you want to trade Derek Carr, you're going to have to give up some on top of that. Derek Carr, it's okay trading away him if you acquire Russell Wilson. But a first-rounder, couple second rounders, maybe two first rounders on top of that, whatever the price may be. If I were the Las Vegas Raiders, I'm looking at that and saying, I like Derek Carr. I really do personally as his talent. But if if I had the opportunity to trade for Russell Wilson, who's proven to be nothing but one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL, no question marks around him, and I have to give up a first rounder at least, it's enticing. It's enticing, but leave your comments, leave your thoughts, and leave uh, your questions or anything down below, and let us know your opinions. Do you believe that Russell Wilson going to the Raiders, the Saints, the Bears, the Cowboys, or any other team is likely to happen this offseason? Like I said, I personally think that he's going to stay with the Seattle Seahawks, but if we want to go down that route of which team could trade for Russell Wilson, number one option could be the Raiders. Leave your thoughts and your comments down below and let's discuss.